It's meteorologist Pete Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And it's turning into a pretty nice afternoon here in Smithfield. We're bringing you live shots. You can see with the branches blowing around, it is breezy. And those breezes will continue into a good part of the afternoon. That's going to bring in some colder air over the next few hours and especially into tomorrow. But not to worry, things will warm up decently as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look right now at some more live pictures. This is actually a time lapse from the URI campus. And you can see people enjoying the slightly milder temperatures out there today. Obviously, with the wind, in the jacket, maybe even the hat and gloves, not a terrible idea, but you certainly don't need them as much as you needed them yesterday. And speaking of winds, you can see 10 miles an hour in Pawtucket, 9 miles an hour in Newport, 15 miles an hour in Westerly, and a bit breezy on Block Island with gusts of around 16 miles an hour. We have a few clouds overhead in the capital city, but overall we're going to average more sun than clouds today. Providence here at 47, Smithfield 46, Newport 49 degrees, and New Bedford at 48, so we'll take it. Now, I'm going to talk briefly about what's going on here in upstate New York, specifically this huge lake effect snowstorm. Some locations as of yesterday had over five feet of snow. Now, there's been a lot of focus on the uh, town of Cheektowaga because as of yesterday, they had 65 inches of snow. I just checked one of the weather stations in Cheektowaga over the past 24 hours. 10 inches. So when we add everything up, we could have some locations that have over six, seven, maybe eight feet of snow because yes, it is snowing in the same zones that were hit very hard yesterday. So we'll keep an eye on this thing for you, but obviously way too much snow. They'd like to see a break and it doesn't look like that's going to happen until we get into tomorrow as some milder air and then rain moves in. Really the last thing they want is rain to weight down that snow, which is really uh, posing a dangerous situation on some of the roofs out there in the houses and buildings. Right now we go back to our forecast, which is much more tranquil. You can see 47, 2 o'clock in the afternoon because that cold front will start to usher in some cooler winds. We're down to 40 by 5 p.m. By 8 p.m. we're at 36 degrees. So the uh, milder conditions we're feeling this afternoon, and of course mild is relative speaking, that's going to quickly go away if you're out there this evening. So make sure you dress warmly if you have dinner plans or out and about later on today. 47 in Charlestown today, 47 in Westerly. You notice that these temperatures are very similar to what we're seeing right now out there. Temperatures uh, in northern Rhode Island will start to drop here shortly. 43 in Burville, 43 in Foster, 44 in Situate with mostly sunny skies. And in eastern Massachusetts, temperatures in the low to mid 40s, 46 for Taunton, 47 New Bedford, 46 in Fall River. And yes, that wind will keep going for a good part of the afternoon between about 15 and 25 miles an hour. So in our seven day future cast, tomorrow is much colder. 35 for an afternoon temperature, 24 in the morning. And then Saturday, a very chilly start. Temperatures in the upper teens and the low 20s. Cool by the afternoon, but a little more acceptable with temperatures making it up to around 40 degrees. Sunday's milder. We will get a bit more in the way of cloud cover. So if you're heading to the Lions Patriots game at 1 p.m., temperature around 50 at kickoff with more clouds and sunshine. And then as we go into Sunday night and Monday morning, rain showers start to move in, but it also brings in some very milder temperatures. 61 for a high temperature on Monday. Now I'm going to go into Wednesday. I often don't talk in detail about the seventh day of the seven day future cast, but of course, this is one of the biggest travel days of the year. And here in the Northeast, it looks very nice. We're talking about dry conditions. I did briefly check the weather across the entire country. Could be a few issues again in Buffalo, New York, but most of the uh, eastern coast, including, you know, DC, New York City, all the way down to Florida, look okay at the airport. So that is good news if you have flight plans on Wednesday. And in the meantime, we'll look for some of that colder air to move in tonight before uh, temperatures warm up to the low 50s by Sunday. So kind of up and down mm. with the temperatures over the next few days. All right. Thanks, Pete. Now yep. a quick look at what we're working on for Eyewitness News starting live at five tonight. A storm for the ages. Pete was